Welcome to ShapeMaster Software. Today we're going to demonstrate um, ShapeMaster Software which is used for the ACM or uh, Aluka Bond material or Dye Bond, there's a few different brands out there. Um, it's used for folding, machining of the uh, folding material. What we can do is start with ShapeMaster up. You can put in job numbers, customer numbers, customer reference numbers. You can select the type of material, um, grained, not grained, just general substrate. You can generate your own materials, whatever, as many materials as you like, different types. Um, once you're happy with that, you can actually start with a blank, uh, essentially a blank canvas, just starting with a rectangle, which we can then modify from there. So as an example, I can come into here and say, we've got our one one part to begin with. We can we can go, you know, I want to have three parts wide, but then I want to add parts up and down here, and <laughs> what do you want to do with it? Essentially, you can keep adding parts onto it. So just for today, I'm going to do something fairly straightforward. I'm going to do a do a wrap. So I just say I want four parts wide, uh, nothing upper or lower. This is a depth of the flaps when I start adding flaps to it. Um, you go to sections, and here's my four different sections that you can see the green cross hatched. So we'll start with section one. I'm, I'm just going to simply go in here and say I want it to be so 1,000 high, 450 wide. Now what I can do in here, I can go okay. I want this corner here. So I'm looking at this this shape here is here so I'm going to cut off this corner so I want to go 200 high and 450 wide so I've cut the entire top off now so I go to section 2 this one here can be 800 by 450 and just hit tab it just goes to the next next window so next 3 this one here I'm going to do so again 1000 wide uh, high 450 wide this time I want to cut off this side 200 by 450 so I've now done the exact opposite uh, of the first panel the last one is going to be so 1000 high 450 wide from there you can then if you want to have a quick look at it you can now go into 3d and this is a 3d sheet you can then fold it up from there and you can see what it's going to look like when it's fully folded up so you can see what what shape is going to come out like um, that's what it's going to look like when it's all folded up. Go back to your two-dimensional parts. Uh, so you can very quickly start building your own shapes. Then from there, you can actually go into each section and say, okay, this end section here, so I'm still on number four, um, I can go add some flaps. So I want to say I want to add a flap on the top, on the right, and on the bottom. And if you want to start adding different angles and things like that, you can start adding in, say, 45 degrees here if you want to cut the bottom of, of that off. Um, same, exactly the same thing you can get at the top, um, cut the top off, things like that. If you want to add in toggles, uh, as you can see it adds in a, a toggle there, you can add them in later as well. Um, you can do all those sorts of things. So, so that's what we want to do for that piece. Uh, we can now go to say piece number three, go to some flaps. Uh, now this one here isn't the top, it's actually the top left because we've cut the top off. So if I turn top on, nothing will happen. Um, because there is no actual technically there's no top because it's actually as you see here top left top top right so tick on top left from here we can say I want to cut off this at say 24 degrees so let's cut the top off to there this one here 24 let's cut that one there off so that one I'll leave on zero um, that one there I'll leave on to 24 and then one on the bottom so then we go okay we can go back to number two flaps, one on the top, one on the bottom, so that's all fitting quite nicely so far. Uh, and again, if you want to do things, you can actually add, add your cuts into here as well, so gonna, on the bottom I want to cut off 45 degrees, um, you can do it on both sides if you really want, whichever way you want to do it, so OK. So I can always go back to number 3, 45 onto the bottom and cut, cut both of these sides off at 45 just to get it all to clean up quite nicely same as the top you can do it on on any side you like so you've got full control over what um, where you want it to cut off oh, not that one sorry I'm on the wrong one um, this one here so you can make it larger if you wanted to you can cut in things like that um, so can go back and you can do any angle you like so number one uh, now this one here obviously is top right because we've cut that corner off so that's the top right the left and then the bottom. And in the top right, we're going to need to cut that at 24 degrees. Again, that one would help. 
so let's now cut that one there off as well again you want to make that slightly larger you can make that 45 if you like Oop, 45 degrees and that will cut it off a little bit more so it depends what you want to do with it you can just cut all those different corners and things off as well so once you've done that okay fantastic if you're happy with that shape obviously you haven't cut the bottom off you can do that um, you press F12 and that now adds it to the list which you can see the list in the background into here which we can then send out for machining but what we can do we can go down to the next level if we want and again any one of these so area one area two three and four each one of these flaps so if we go to area one um, bottom flap these are all the configurations and now you can see this bit here is highlighted so it's highlighted in red cross hatched uh, we can change the size of this so if you want to make this sign let's do something really bizarre now let's make it 100 by 60 so we can actually ang start angling flaps as well so we're not fixed by whatever flap size it's actually there and you can also come and start angling things as well individually so if you're not sure what angle you need it to be I can come and change each one individually here um, at flap level and if you want to start offsetting things as well um, this one here is extra a uh, little bit extra clearance so when things fold up instead of being 45 you can get 45 plus an extra one degree or plus a half a degree or something, something like that um, you can also offset so if you actually want to leave a step and if you don't want to take it right to the corner you can actually do an offset so let's do an offset of 50 and 50 and that will bring that flap completely in so you can do something like that as well and actually cut cut off the edges so this is where you've got a whole lot of control um, and then say now we can add in secondary flaps so I want this one to be 50 and 50 so it's a secondary fold uh, do you want it to be a fold yes I do um, do I want to start angling this as well so I can now angle <laughs> I can angle that secondary flap um, away from the first flap so and then you can also offset this as well so <laughs> if we can just keep it keep going down level level on level um, so which yeah, which level do you want to take it down to what do you want to do with it you have full control over um, over what you want to build now so you can build any shape or you can start angling any shape you like what size you want each section to be and again you can add sections upper and lower to this and add flaps onto each one and start building essentially start building cubes um, but you can build just a standard rectangle or you can angle it any angle you like there is also a um, standard in the library you can build a triangle or a rectangle um, and again once you've done this you just press F12 add it to the into your list behind you so this is my, li my list of parts um, and you can double click on these and open them up again uh, for reuse again later on once you've done that you can now generate a list very easily so you can click on the part from your library you can go and change the dimensions whatever you'd like them to be then you can just press F12 and it adds it to the list in the background to here and you can go and choose different parts so I can choose this part here and say yep that's the size panel I want no worries uh, F12 uh, I can also go back to this first page so I want to have say two of those um, add it to the list F12 let's just grab some more parts for the fun of it while we're here F12 once you've done that you can then go to machining view and we can then export the machining and then generate the nests again that just displays what was there previously so this one will generate the list so there's two of those 800 to one of those it shows you in the list here there's a corner step you can even stretch this out a little bit and it gives you more details it gives you all the details here what width the dimensions of things are as well so you can hide that as well if you want keep them so this is the actual nest on the machine this is what your this is the CNC output so it's now produced a CNC output and it's ready for cutting on your machine so that's how easy it is once you've got your list straight to machining view and there it is and if you don't want to turn that off you can say I want to turn these ones here off let's generate the nests now with those two parts so regenerate the nest now with only those two parts in it so you've got full control over them let's do that so it's now once you've changed something it tells you that this picture here is now um, different from what you've actually selected generate the nest again and this is producing your labeling um, your G code for your CNC machine everything's now ready to go so once you press that button that is now on your machine ready to cut uh, thanks very much for your time